Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're talking about coding. So I've seen recently a few people asking me in the comments section, is coding a big part of cybersecurity? And I wanted to make this video to address that question. So the too long don't want to watch version is no, not really, but there is a little bit more to it than that. With things like automation and basically just getting your daily job done and especially different aspects of cybersecurity, it sort of ranges from if you're going to be doing any coding or really big coding projects. For example, if you're doing bug bounties, you probably don't need to be like a master coder, but being able to read code is going to be super important for you. If you're just sort of like working as a network security engineer though, and you know, you need to automate a bunch of uh, Nexus switches or something like that, then having some sort of Python knowledge is going to be super useful for you to get that project done. There's also all the Git stuff, which I'm not really gonna get into and which sort of programming languages are most commonly used because it sort of depends on what you're doing and the way you work. A quick example is I like to use Python because it works easily for me and I understand it the best. But um, some people prefer other things like Java or, or, or yeah, whatever really. But things you're going to need to understand though are things like Bash, Basic Python, how to read Java, some HTML, and I, I wouldn't even really count that as a programming language, but I'll throw it in there anyway. Maybe a little bit of C as well for things like automation as well, and some basic like PowerShell scripting would be super useful to learn as well. I'm also not going to bother recommending any courses on this because you can basically just pick it up and learn as you go, and that's what a lot of people, including myself, have done in their actual job, where they've sort of gone into a role and someone like the IT manager has said, I want you to automate these tasks, or I want you to write a script to shoot out this report at the end of the day, or I want you to gather all of these logs and then have them go into that final daily report, or something like this, right? He's not saying to you, I want you to write a Python script to automate this report and pull out data from here and throw an API out to there. What? They just don't care how you do it, just get it done. And there's really not much more to it than that. And like saying that, that's like a basic infrastructure security or network security role type example, but it's pretty much the same across the board. There are some things out there though, like pen testing, where you really need to understand how SQL injection works and writing scripts for that, which would definitely need some slightly more advanced knowledge of coding. But it's, it's not the be all and end all and as I said at the start, you don't really need to know how to code. Like you don't need to be a programmer and then to get into cybersecurity. It's, it's, they're two different things. There's programming and then there's security. The two of them do mix up a little bit sometimes and I'm gonna bring it back to my all time favorite example, which is that cybersecurity is like a trade. There's chippies or carpenters. Then there's plumbers, electricians. You know, there's all different types of trades. It's the same with cybersecurity. You have your pen testers and you have your network security engineers and log viewing guys, risk and compliance. The the list is pretty huge. Like there's there's a thousand different cybersecurity jobs out there. So yeah, you don't really need to know how to code to get into cybersecurity. Being able to read code though is super important. So if you can basically get through like reading HTML and how a JS script is working, then you'll be sweet, you'll be fine. And the same goes for things like if there's a Python script, once you read through it and you sort of understand how Python works, you'll figure it out. It's not brain surgery, right? Anyway, I just wanted to make this nice and quick video to address that question of do you need to know how to code to get into cybersecurity? And basically the answer is no, but being able to read code is super, super important. And if you already know how to code or you're super interested in coding, that's not a bad thing. You can learn as much as you like. It's the world's your oyster. So yeah, get out there, get into it and get into a cybersecurity job. Oh, and uh, if you don't mind, please leave me a thumbs up, subscribe for more and comment below if you have any questions or maybe some advice to people who are getting into cybersecurity and you decided to learn coding or not learn coding. Throw it in the comments below and let everyone else know what you think on this topic. Thanks guys, and I'll catch you later.